happened this past weekend. The WrestleMania, whatever number it is, was it 36 or something? Do you remember? Nope. You you actually watched some of it on Saturday. I did night. watch this. Now, Saturday I, and Sunday. Um, did you watch some on a, on Sunday? Yeah, it was a two-day event. Okay. I, I didn't know if you watched any on Sunday. Uh, so I, knew I got th- roped into, so I, I grew up loving wrestling. We grew up, we've talked about yeah. this before. We love wrestling growing up. Maybe been a decade since I've paid attention real closely, probably longer than that. Um, and, uh, I got roped in, I had four or five buddies that I used to watch it with and, and hadn't talked to in a while. And they all sent out this thing said, Hey, we're going to, we're going to do like a Google hangout or a, what was that other app that I told you they were using something? Uh, uh, house party, house party. That's it. Yeah. So we tried that for a while. We eventually came back to zoom and, uh, <laughs> and whatever. And we all just literally, we, we, set up our computers or your iPads and then had your phone or your iPad or whatever and got the zoom going. And we, we kind of all watched together, but in our own houses. And it was, it was interesting to say the least. Um, the hanging out with friends, that's the first time I've done that. So, um, some of it was kind of normal. It was, you know, the people who broke balls, broke balls, the people yeah. who, you know, were funny, were funny and, and whatever. And it, it was just, it, it was a little sense of normalcy. Um, there was a, uh, not as much depth conversation that we would normally have gotten into. Um, but, but it was, it was hanging out with friends around this one thing that we all used to kind of like, and none of us have watched it in years, but it was free. And so we tried it. It was weird. It yeah, with no fans. The actual wrestling part could be I'm just removed from wrestling so far. They tried, I will tell you this, Vince McMahon is not afraid of trying new things, okay? They did what I know because I'm an adult now to be a lot of pre-recorded matches, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they did that specifically for this. Yeah. The Undertaker fight was supposed to be his last fight ever, which I think it is going to be his last fight ever. Yeah. And they did it in like a graveyard. You could tell it was pre-recorded because there are times where he looks like hell. And then five minutes later, he looks a whole lot better. Um, and it just looks like his hair got done again. His, you know, his arm got a little bandaged up, whatever. It, it was really cool though. That watching that fight was one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. That's television I, viewing. Yeah, I got to super watch that. Captivating. One. I went. I went back and watched it. It was, it was pretty fantastic. Like I, it the, was the theatrics really good was TV. Awesome. Yeah, it was really good TV. Now, obviously, if you're not into wrestling, then you're going to watch this and poke every hole there is in it. Yeah. If you like wrestling, I I thought it was really cool. The next night, they tried to do a lot of that stuff, and well. There was one fight with John Cena. Yeah, the fun house one. That's the one I went back and watched because it got so much traction. That um, was the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. It, it was it was I think interesting. They, I think they tried really hard. I thought it was really creative. Really good, mm, okay. We're in, I, get, I mean, anything's creative, I guess. Yeah. I, I, it's hard for me to criticize other people's art forms because I'm not artistic at all at kind of anything. But, yeah, the NWO stuff I thought was cool. The... Uh, just the imagery itself. Like, I, I thought everything about it. It, it seemed movie-ish. It was very theatrical. Super it was, weird. Yeah. And as cheesy and goofy as I think I've ever seen anything. Yeah. So, I was not a fan. Had that been what I saw Saturday, I would not have turned in for Sunday. That, that makes sense. Uh, I, th- I think when I watched Saturday's fight, I thought, why would they go the first night with this? Why wouldn't they... Close out Why Sunday? they make this the closing fight of the whole thing and end it like that? And I think they are smarter than me because, no, if if I would have watched the Funhouse fight the, the first night, I wouldn't have been in for the second night at all. Yeah. But because, because the Undertaker thing was such a cool – everything else I did not enjoy about it at all. Without fans, without a crowd, I didn't like it. It's weird. Um I'm you, I'm really curious of how it's going to affect UFC. I don't think UFC is the same thing. Oh, it's it's definitely not. It's you're, the because crowd watched, is not as much a part of it. 
What was the uh, what was the UFC uh, reality show where they could earn a spot? The in Ultimate to get a Fighter. Contract? I used to watch the Ultimate Fighter. I loved they did a that. lot of fights without without a crowd, and that was just fine. That yeah. was just fine. So so I'm not worried about the crowd for UFC, but when you're doing something that's a performance art thing, which and that's is what exactly what is, yeah, that's what pro wrestling you is. You can't. You you can't. I mean, I, I'm super. I've gotten super big the last year and a half in stand up comedy. I watch a lot of comedians. A lot of them are trying to do stuff right now to raise money for, you know, low paying comedy guys. Doing it without a crowd is just so hard. I mean, it's yeah. brutal to watch. I want to watch to support them. It's almost impossible to watch. And this is something that I openly love and am passionate about. Man, it's really hard to get through, though. And these are guys that I know are just crazy, stupid, funny. Yeah, yeah. Without the audience, you can't you can't do a performance art thing with nobody watching live. You just it doesn't work. No, it, it, we got several comments on this on Facebook and on Twitch. Michael Campion uh, said uh, they're all pre recorded right now. Um, I'm totally confused to figure out the Playhouse match. Darkness yeah. on uh, Twitch said. I do have to say, for what this was, WrestleMania gets an A for me. They made the best of a bad situation. However, I just have a feeling that we have not seen the last of Brock Lesnar. I uh, just have this feeling deep down inside he's going to come back at SummerSlam and win the title yet again and go to WrestleMania next year as champion again. Uh, possibly. Uh, I my, could my totally issue see with the all Lester that. Fight, my issue with the Lesnar fight, anybody wants to talk about the actual wrestling matches other than the two things we discussed, <laughs> that, that, was, that was two guys that... Every Brock Lesnar fights the exact same now. Everybody just, both fighters does their finishing move like three times, and then one of them does it one last time and wins. Yeah. That, 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 that's every Brock Lesnar fight now. Is they, they, yeah. they don't actually choreograph a fight. I'm going to do my finishing move. You do your finishing move. Then I do mine. Then do you do yours. And then somebody's going to do one twice, and that's going to be and it. And that'll be it. And that'll be how the whole thing gets written off into the sunset and whatever. Uh, I think very weird. All, all of this has to do with uh, with whether or not Lesnar like signs a new contract or whatever it is, right? So that's that's all this is. Um, that's a, I mean that's all any of this stuff is. <laughs> it's just contracts. I, I do appreciate the fact that Vince McMahon's not afraid to try things. Oh okay? no, you definitely he got obviously that right. went way out on a limb on some of this stuff to try oh, yeah. to be creative and to try to make the best of a bad situation. It, it was it was rough. Some of it was really rough. Some of it was fine. And some of it, like I said, the Undertaker fight was spectacular. That yeah. was just really cool to watch. And you're talking to a guy that didn't know anybody else involved in that thing outside of the Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like all yeah. these other people. It's, uh, you were texting in. our group and you were like, uh, it's some guy named AJ. I'm like, yeah, you AJ asked Styles. who he fought. Yep. And I was like, some dude named AJ. Yep. I don't AJ know who Styles. that is. I don't know. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, it was fantastic. It was good. 